Hi everyone, it's Calculus by Christy, and in this video we are going to find the volume of the solid whose base is bounded by the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 4, with cross sections that are equilateral triangles taken perpendicular to the x-axis. Wow, what a cool problem, and I love that calculus helps us to find this. So we're going to have a base, that's a circle, so think about like a two-dimensional circle, and then cross sections are going to come three-dimensionally out of the page, and those cross sections are going to be equilateral triangles, and those cross sections are going to be perpendicular to that x-axis. So as I'm trying to show you the motions with my hands, how about we Put the graph on paper so you can see what this would look like visually. Let's graph an x and a y axis. And we have the circle x squared plus y squared equals 4. That's going to be a circle with its center at the origin and a radius of 2. And there we have it, that is the base. Now these equilateral triangles are going to be perpendicular to the x-axis, so what that means is if I try to draw one three-dimensionally as best as I can, let's think about this being one equilateral triangle, there is the base, and that equilateral triangle is coming up and forward and out of the screen, and because it's an equilateral triangle, all three angles and all three sides are going to be congruent. To find this volume, what we're going to be using is an integral, and that's how we would find it in calculus. So in order to find the volume of this solid, we are going to use the integral because we are summing up an infinite amount of equilateral triangles from this x value to this x value, and that's going to be from negative two to positive two. Because we are taking these equilaterals perpendicular to the x-axis, we're going to use x values, and in that case, the width of each equilateral triangle is going to be dx. So keep that in mind, it is going to be a dx type of problem, so that means the only variable that you should be using after the integral is an x. Well, speaking of, this equation isn't solved for in terms of x. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to take the equation of this circle and I'm going to solve it for y so that I can write it in terms of x. And you've got a positive and a negative. The reason for that is the upper semicircle. That's going to be your positive function. Up here, this in pink is going to be the square root of 4 minus x squared. Then the semicircle on the bottom is going to be your negative function. That's going to be negative square root of 4 minus x squared. After the integral, what we need to do is we need to do the formula for the area of one equilateral triangle. And just to recall, because honestly, this is the one that I typically forget too, if I forget the area of any of the two-dimensional figures, it happens to be the equilateral triangle, I'll admit it, and the area of an equilateral at equilateral, apparently I can't even say it either, is root 3 divided by 4 side squared. That means one side of the equilateral triangle. So what we need to do here is we need to figure out, well, what is one side? What is one length of one of the sides of this equilateral triangle? Well, to find the length of this side here, what you need to do is you need to take the top function minus the bottom function. That's one way of thinking about it. Or you can take this half and you can just double it. Either way, what you will get for one side is going to be 2 times the square root of 4 minus x squared. Now, what I just put after my integral is just that part right there. That is one side of the equilateral triangle. So I've got this root 3 over 4 constant, and you know what? I'm actually going to bring that out in front of the integral. I like to do that with constants. It kind of clears up my integral. And then I need to take that side and I need to square it. So whether I do root four minus x squared minus negative root four minus x squared, if you do the method of top minus bottom, you would get two times the square root of four minus x squared, or if you did that top half and doubled it, 
you'd still get the same thing. Now this looks pretty complicated, but actually not too bad because let's take a look. Algebraically, you would need to square the two, which would give you four, and then that's gonna cancel with that four. Pretty nice. Then all we would have to do is then square this radical, which would cancel the radical symbol. So in, or after I simplify it, I would have the square root of three, times the integral from negative two to two of four minus x squared dx. Look at that, nice and cleaned up. What we'd have to do now is we need to integrate. So I'm going to find the antiderivative, which would be four x minus x cubed over three. And I'm going to evaluate this from negative two to two. I hope you're finding this video helpful so far, and if you are, make sure to subscribe so that you can watch other calculus videos to help you in your learning of the subject of calculus. So to continue, we are going to now evaluate this. We're going to plug in two, which is the upper bound into this antiderivative, and then subtract what we get when we plug in the lower bound of negative two. All the while, I'm just gonna keep that root three out in front. It's time for just a little more arithmetic. Time to get common denominators. We just found that by hand. So we get 32 thirds root three. And once again, what we found is the volume of a solid if we lined up an infinite amount of equilateral triangles between the x value of negative two and the x value of positive two with the base of a circle. And remember what we used to find it was calculus. Calculus is fascinating. It allows us to find such interesting things. And I hope you found this video interesting as well. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so that you can see other calculus videos to help you in your learning and also to see the fascinating world of calculus. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.